Kalidis. I'm the CEO of Sojo Business and Tourism. Um, the initiative today is basically to clean a part of Cliff River Drive as the first phase where there's a lot of illegal activities happening, especially around dumping where the communities are living. We would like to involve the communities to become part of the cleanup so they can take responsibility and accountability for the area. Our partnership with the city has been amazing. The city of Joburg and all their departments pick it up environmental health, uh, JMPD, uh, law enforcement, they all come together today to help us clean up and to put an awareness message uh, to the community and to business to take part. Part of the process that we're going to roll out is to remove all legal, illegal signage on the walls. We have given the advertisers an opportunity to remove it themselves, failing which uh, they will be summoned and we will remove the signage uh, with the community and paint sponsored by businesses uh, at a later stage. So it's an ongoing sustainability process that we're putting in place and uh, our business partners are Tava and Aspen Hills. Uh, Ruben Lowe is the, the, the owner of Tava and perhaps he'd like to say a few words as well. Yeah, it's an exciting morning for us. Um, when Sojo started more than 15 years ago, um, the, the main mission was to, to fight the crime in the south of Johannesburg and today is Standing together to make a difference, and that is the only way that we can reclaim our streets, our houses, our city, our community, our country. And we actually want to challenge all communities out there, everybody in Johannesburg, to do the same. Instead of fighting with council, being upset about things happening around you, business owners get involved, put in your time, put in your money, and work with council. And today is a wonderful example of what, what the city of Johannesburg is doing to help us to clean the area. Once you get to that critical mass when you can sort out a terrible rubbish like this in the background, then the communities see it as something that they can maintain. At this stage, they feel powerless and helpless because it is just too overwhelming. So what we're trying to establish today is to, to, to get to that point where the communities will be the watchdogs of their streets and their areas. If somebody comes here and they want to dump again, people living here will say, hey, stop it. This is our area. And one way of doing that is, is uh, by part of the as you can see in the background as well. Once again, City of Joburg, uh, Aspen, HS State, giving us the field to dig the holes. It's all about standing together and making it work. So we're very excited. It's a long-term vision. And um, I just want to say thank you to Nikki, who's been the, the person who orchestrated all this, put everything together, liaised with all departments. Um, it's not an easy thing to do, but she pulled it off, and we're very grateful to have a wonderful like in the south of Germany to make such a wonderful difference. Thanks. Would you like to hear from the city?